Zinnias are a summer garden staple for good reason. They come in a wide range of colors, bloom all summer long, and they are so easy to grow. Even beginners can grow loads of beautiful zinnia blooms. Plus, bees and butterflies love them, so they're perfect for pollinator gardens. This is Laura from Gardening Know How, and today I'm going to show you how to grow zinnias from seed. Zinnias are annual flowers that grow in full sun and well-drained soil. They don't mind heat and they tolerate drought well. Zinnias range in height from 6 inches to over 4 feet tall. Their flowers can be striped, speckled, or solid in a variety of colors from pastel to bright vibrant hues. Zinnias also come in a variety of flower forms. These include single bloom, beehive, button, and cactus. They make wonderful cut flowers that can last in a vase for a week or more. And if deadheaded, they can bloom from early summer until frost, but we'll talk about that later. Zinnias prefer to be sown directly into the garden, but you can start seeds indoors and transplant them later. If you go this route, start zinnia seeds in peat pots or another form of biodegradable pot. When seedlings are a few inches tall, plant them, pots and all, in the garden to avoid disturbing the seedlings' tender roots. The easiest way, though, to grow zinnias from seed is to plant them straight into the garden. Spacing depends upon the variety you wish to grow. Look at the back of your seed packet for instructions specific to your type. I'm planting giant cactus zinnias, which will grow two to three feet tall. Once all chance of frost has passed, plant seeds six inches apart and a quarter of an inch deep. Lightly cover the seeds with soil and give them a good drink. Keep soil moist but not soggy. Zinnia seeds should germinate in 5 to 10 days. Some zinnias benefit from staking. Use garden supports to keep tall zinnia varieties from flopping over or plant them next to a trellis, mailbox, or lamp post. You can also create your own zinnia supports with strong vertical stakes and twine. Weave twine into a grid when plants are still small and your zinnias will grow right through. Deadheading helps zinnias bloom all summer long. Once flowers fade, cut or pop the heads off your zinnias. Cutting flowers for bouquets also encourages more blooming, just like deadheading. Another option is to let faded flowers remain and go to seed, then save your seeds to grow in next year's garden. Check out our video about how to harvest black-eyed Susan seeds for more information about collecting and storing seeds for next summer. Succession planting is another way to extend zinnia blooming. Starting in late spring, plant zinnia seeds in the garden every two weeks until mid-summer to ensure fresh blooms through fall. Zinnias are very low maintenance, however, they can encounter some problems. Common zinnia pests include spider mites, grasshoppers, and budworms. Zinnias can also develop powdery mildew, but thanks to breeders, many new cultivars like the Magellan series are more resistant to this problem. Just to be safe, avoid overhead irrigation and water early in the day to keep foliage dry. Space plants far enough apart to allow for good airflow and you should have no problems. Now you have the know-how to grow your own zinnias. For more information about easy to grow annuals, visit us at gardeningknowhow.com and subscribe to our channel. Have fun and happy gardening.